Let's take a look at one possible way to um, use a style constraint in a template to tie to an existing feature. And in this case, we have an existing roadway that's going to be reconstructed. The existing sidewalk is going to remain, and we want the template to tie into the face of that existing sidewalk. So let's take a look at how that can be accomplished. I'm going to go to my Inroads Create Template command here and show you the template we're using. And this template is um, set up of uh, components. There are no cut or fill components in this template at this time. This is a uh, constraint component. If I take a look at the definition of that, there are horizontal and uh, slope constraints on that, but there is also a style constraint. And that um, has been defined as being flexible in both the horizontal and vertical direction and a range, which is a search distance. So in effect, this point is going to search for this feature style in the target DTM. And if it can find it within 20 feet, it'll be successful. If not, it'll fail. So let's see how that first step works out. So that is the template we're going to use and I'm going to go into my uh, roadway designer here show you how that gets implemented. Here's my template up in plan view here I have the uh, boundary of my existing DTM, my reference line and I've got um, references displayed for the, that existing face of walk feature. And As you can see um, the template doesn't tie in to that feature because it's not found but once we get into the area where that target style is available we do tie into it if I place a temporary dimension line here, you can see how that ties in. So I have variable distance and slope as it finds that feature. But the situation we come up to is that what happens when that feature is no longer found? We can't tie into it, so it just runs that feature as designed. So one possibility is to modify the template and put cut and fill zones at the end of this segment to tie back into existing ground. And there's a number of ways to do this, but here's just one possible solution. Now, if I want that cut and fill to tie in from the back of curb, basically, I would take this segment and modify it. Just make the length, you know, maybe even uh, one inch. So we'll have a little segment in there. But uh, it's not going to be very apparent, obviously. And I'm going to take some end conditions. So I'm going to put in my cut situation. I'm going to put in my fill situation. And if I go test that template, I guess I need to uh, check my end condition priorities there. So let's just do that quick. And we'll just say I want to test the uh, cut first and the fill second. Okay, so now when I go to test, I can see how that will operate. And you don't see the uh, tie to the sidewalk uh, um, come into play in that test, but we will when we get into Roadway Designer. So I'm going to save the changes to my template. And again, I'm just doing it on the right side here. I want to make sure I resynchronize my template library. And let's uh, go and see how that process is now. So up in this area, where I do have sidewalk, it'll tie into it. Once I get beyond that, my cut and fill slopes come into play. Of course, they're very minor in this particular area, but as we uh, get a little bit more relief, you can see how that ties in. So that, that could be scenario B, or there might be other solutions I want to have happen if it doesn't find that sidewalk. But this is just one possible way to tie into an existing feature in a DTM. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.